Welcome back everybody to Sunsaw Gaming. Alright, so today we have two matches for you today in the Panther 2. I am grinding this tank because, uh, well, I'm going for the E50M. Um, and I am thoroughly enjoying this thing. Like, I don't even have to try and I've been pulling masteries in this thing. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into those matches and uh, just show you exactly what this tank can do. So our first match here is on Canyon. Um, we are in a tier 9 match. Now, this video, I'll probably throw into another one about uh, lower tier versus high tier tanks. But um, I just wanted to show these two replays off, just purely because, you know, it's the Panther 2. This thing, it doesn't get much attention. Um, it really doesn't. I mean, this is a great all-rounder tank, and you're going to see it all here in this battle. It can do absolutely everything for a medium. I mean, you can block rounds from heavies, you can go hull down, you can use the DPM on this thing, you can use the mobility. I mean, it is not the most uh, speedy medium tank, but it does have the mobility to be able to move around and do stuff. Like, I mean, going almost 50 kilometers there through water up to this point. So it does have speed, but it takes a little while to get there. The acceleration is not the best. Now, coming into this, there is a Skoda T50 there. He's already spotted me, so I've got to be cautious pulling up to this point here because I don't want to get shot by tanks like that Conway over there. Um, this Skoda, anyway, he he's playing a very smart sort of game. He's playing it really safe at the moment. He's just keeping things lit the same as what I'm doing here. I do get a nice bounce there from that WZ111. And uh, hopefully we can put a shell into this Skoda T50 very shortly. So, I mean... We're just going to keep playing this ridge line. I am the only medium, so it is very important that I take this position for the team. Because I am the only medium, I am the one that is in control of this central position. We get a nice shot into the Skoda T50 there, and he decides, screw this, I'm out. I'm not playing with this guy. He knows what he's doing, and he's he, he's just not worth my time. So he pisses off. He runs off. He runs around the back. And that just allows me to get these extra shots in on these tanks over here, like this uh, Borsig and this very unlucky Conway here who is about to take a shell from me. And I mean, at this point, I can see that two of my guys have gone up and they've pushed past through A after capping it. I've got the TDs there. This Skoda tried to be sneaky, misses his shot, and he is about to pay dearly for it. I see that I've got that TD sitting there, so I call for his help, and we get in here on this Skoda. Now... I just get around behind him, I put a shot into the back of his engine which damages that and he now has to use a repair kit, he's going through the water, he's going to be slow, he gets hit by the tortoise and by me, he is out of the game, back to the garage mate, you started off so well playing so smart and then you just made mistakes and I mean that happens, he, he was a decent player at the start there, he was definitely having a run for his money. Now I'm just going to be cautious pulling up for this WZ, I do miss that shot but I'm Trying not to get hit by the Conway that was around here at one point. And just there, showing you, you can block heavy rounds. I mean, I just used the side scraping angle on this tank and that WZ bounces. That's costly for him because now I'm able to get my DPM out. I'm able to take this guy down, get the kill shot on him there because the uh, Fock missed or bounced. I'm not quite sure which. And there is our elusive Conway. He is now on the other side of the map. He repositioned early. He saw what was coming his way and he got right out of dodge. Smart man. Uh, if only the rest of your team had done the same, you may have been able to win this one. However, I can see the fox going up to the left there, so I'm going to go to the right. I am going to be putting myself into the center of this fight because our guy Duper over there, he's, he's going to die. There he goes. He's out. So now I've got to decide which of these two sides am I going to go for. Just going to be cautious that these heavies over here can't hit me and then i'm going to go around and clear out this conway i'm going to help out my fock do the right thing clear a tank and then work on the next two so the conway does manage to nail the fock there um which isn't isn't too great but we get another nice bounce well i mean a track shot but it counts it didn't damage me and that was from another tier 9 hopefully we can uh, stop this vk with a shell into his tracks which doesn't work doesn't track him he puts a shell into me, so I've got to repair my engine or run around. Now, hopefully we can take out this ST1. If he doesn't shoot me, we'll get behind him. Oh, very nice snapshot there into his lower plate. Now, he's not worried about me. He does want to take out the fox, which he does. He clears him. And before 
the other team that VK is able to get me. I'm able to clear this SD1. I've got this match in the bag. We have cap points. I'm just going to run. I'm going to stay alive. There's no point in taking extra shells for a match I'm going to win. I mean, even if I did have to fight it out, I would have had this tortoise here to support me. So, good work there, tortoise. You've done a good job. You ran around the map for ages. Um, and you actually gave decent support. So, that's the first mastery for you guys. 2,671 damage. And as Meezy says, supremacy. If you cap those bases, you will get aces. I mean... It's just how it goes. They give you good XP, especially if you can do them early in the match. Now, onto the second match, Oasis Palms. This is this is going to be a very different sort of ace. I'm going to play very passively in this one. I'm not going to be nearly as aggressive as I was in the first match. But, I mean, this is a great map for mediums like the Panther 2. These mediums that do have usable armor and good gun depression. They can thrive on maps like this. And you're going to see exactly why here in a minute. Now if you look at the tank lineups there, you can tell it's two mediums and a light tank there versus the one medium and a light tank. But on this map, I mean, you can still have all of the heavies come out this side too. So you do have to go into it rather cautiously. Uh, I mean, my team hasn't fully come out this side. We've split up. It's already not looking good. There's the SP1C. I mean, he's coming in, he's he's not too much of a worry to me, he's got two shell clip, um, but I mean, against the Panther 2, the SP1C kind of pales in comparison, and uh, just doesn't do the work. Now, I get a lucky bounce there from the Y5 ELC, but that's alright, that's good, that's good. Now, I see that there's only these two tanks here so far, so I'm just going to push up, I'm going to take out this Y5 ELC. Um, it's going to be dangerous coming around this corner because there's always TDs that can spot you, especially coming around here. As soon as you peek out, and that's why I'm not pulling out too far at the moment, is because I don't want to get hit by TDs. But with this guy backing off, I'm going to have to push in. I'm going to just try and hide behind him and use him as cover, but I still take a hit. And I believe that was from their boar suit that hit me there. Now, if my teammate doesn't get the clear, I definitely will. Nope, if my teammate gets it, I shoot into a dead tank. But I mean, I've lost a lot of hit points at this stage, and it's still early in the game. There are still six enemy tanks. I get a lucky bounce there from the KV-3, I get another lucky bounce from the Borsig, and I take a hit from, I think that was the Tiger 2 that hit me there on that last shell. I'm in too much fire. They're looking at me, I'm just going to pull away, reset my camo and start shooting again from a distance because like I say in some of my other videos guys uh, the don't die reposition videos this is a key point of that like I just repositioned I'm still aiming on this KV-3 I've still got targets in town except I'm pulling further out of the view range so they can't see me now I'm just going to reset my camo again just behind this rock we'll peek up get a shot into this KV-3 nicely into the side of his turret thank you I was going to back up there because I thought I might get lit again, but I didn't get lit. So we can just stay here and use this to just farm damage off this KV-3. He really wants to get my teammate over there that is low hit points who has not backed off. And I'm still looking for all the shots I can. The KV-3 is not a smart player, so I'm going to deal with the tanks that are actually, you know, pressuring my team like this IS-6 right here. Helping out my teammates, getting in that passive damage, just doing what I can from a distance. Now, hopefully he backs off and I can put a shell into him at the back here. But I don't manage to get that kill. Someone else clears him out. Let's focus back on this KV-3. We're going to try and get some more damage into him. While we're, we're staying aware of everything else, we're looking around for the extra shots like this Tiger 2. I mean, he's sitting out in the open, not being very smart. And I managed to get a nice shot there into the side of his turret. There is the elusive Borsig though. The one that has been bouncing me all game so far. Now, if he hadn't bounced those shots, I would be dead at this point. Um, but I'm not. I'm able to keep going. I get another bounce there from the Tiger. The KV-3 is trying to look for shots. He's not able to get them. I mean, I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's not doing very well. He's, he's clearly still learning the game, so we'll give him credit for trying. Um, and we're just going to farm him from a distance as best we can. And... Just like that, I mean, look at the accuracy on this Panther 2, guys. It is amazing. I'm right across the map, and I'm hitting this guy. Apart from that one shell, I haven't bounced a single shot off of this KV-3. I have no idea if that uh, 
blind shot went in though. But I mean, we're still out in the field. We're still playing passive. My teammates are in there. They're fighting. They're lighting these tanks up. And I'm just, oh, that was a bad miss. I'm just utilizing damage for distance here, guys. Like, I'm 357 hit points. There's no point in me going in there, getting shot and dying. So staying out in the field, and especially if your teammates are doing what my team are doing, you can just sit out here and farm damage, especially if you're low hit points. I mean, if I had more hit points, I would probably have gone in here and tried to help my guys out a bit more. And at this point, it is now a two on three. It is me and this heavy tank versus these other guys. Now, my heavy, he's not going to last too long. He will not last much longer. So, I'm now on 4,000 damage with 1,500 blocked damage. Hopefully we can clear off this KV-3. I still do have to be cautious. There is a Borsig around. There he is. Now it's one versus two. They're both one shots, and I am a one shot to both of them. I was going to push in, but uh, on second thought, you know what? I've got the view range. Why, why push into them when I have the view range? So I'm just going to stay out here. I'm going to wait for them to push towards me. We light up the T-28 prototype there. He knows it. He has no idea where I am. And we managed to put an APCR round straight through his front clearing him. Now the Borsig was last spotted going in this direction. Again, I have better view range, so I'm just going to stay out in the dunes, I'm going to use these ridge lines. I'm going to use the hull down capabilities of this tank and its troll armor. If I do get spotted first, hopefully I get a bounce, and there we are, I'm spotted, Borsig spotted, he's aiming up, I snap shot, I get the kill, I get the win. Thank you guys for coming along to the match and uh, enjoying the pain of my gun. There's the second ace for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching these. I mean, 4,478 damage there. That is a Hall of Fame damage match. I just can't upload it at the moment because I don't have enough battles on my account. Uh, I think that's like fourth in the NA for the Hall of Fame, but I can't put it up. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed these replays. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button down below. At 500 subs, I will be doing another giveaway. So let's get me up there, guys. Let's do it. Uh, until next time, stay safe, use cover, cheers.